All right, um, you guys have been adding fractions for a very long time, but because we're going over the fundamentals, right, we're going to go back and review fractions. Um, obviously, you have calculators that you can type this into, but you already know what's coming. You need to know how to do them by hand for any of those tests that you're going to be required to take. So let's go over real quick the rules of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. Here are the steps for adding and subtracting. Um, obviously, if you have a calculator, you can just type it in, but we are soon going to have letters in here and you cannot type in variables. So your first step is an if step. If needed, convert any mixed numbers to an improper fraction, and we do that with the wheel, um, and then any whole numbers put over one. Your second step is to create a common denominator. Technically, you need to find the least common multiple of your denominators. Basically, just ask yourself, what can all my denominators become? Always use multiplication. And remember, you can multiply by one. So if you have a number that as a denominator the others can become, you can use that. Then you add and subtract your tops, keep your bottoms, and then if needed, reduce. You can leave your answers at improper fractions, but you do have to reduce. So let's work one real quick. Let's do a two two step, three and a half plus four minus seven and two thirds. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to convert all of our improper fractions to a mixed number. Remember we start at the bottom, multiply, then add our tops. Three times two is six, six plus one is seven, and we keep our denominator. Any whole numbers we're gonna put over one. Three times seven is 21. 21 plus 2 is 23 over 3. And I've now taken up too much space, but <clears throat> now we need to look at our denominators. So I have 2, 1, and 3. What can 2, 1, and 3 all become using multiplication? And the answer is 6. So I'm going to do 2 times 3, and whatever I do to the bottom, do to the top. 1 times 6, whatever I do to the bottom, do, the, do to the top. 3 times 2, whatever I do to the bottom, do to the top. So my new fractions are 7 times 3 is 21 over 6. 6 times 4 is 24 over 6 minus 23 times 2, which is 46 over 6. And now I simply add or subtract my tops, keep my bottom. So 21 plus 24 is 45, minus 46 is negative 1. So my answer is negative 1 over 6. To multiply, we uh, do the same things. We need to, or the first step is the same. If you have mixed numbers, convert them. If you have a whole number, put it over 1. Now listen. One of the reasons we're re-reviewing this is because a lot of you missed this before. You do not need a common denominator when you're multiplying. You only need a common denominator if you're adding or subtracting. Multiplication, you just do top times top, bottom times bottom, and then reduce. You do not need a common denominator when multiplying. So let's work one of these. Let's do two times one and three fifths, okay? If step. If we have a whole number, put it over 1. If we have a mixed number, convert it. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. Keep your denominator. I do not need a common denominator. I simply do top times top over bottom times bottom. And if I can, I reduce. If not, I just leave it like that. There's one extra step in division. Our if step is the same. If needed, convert all of your mixed numbers to improper fractions, and then put your whole numbers over one. Now here is the step that we have to remember. Technically, it's illegally impossible, or whatever. It's illegal to divide fractions. So there's two different mindsets here. Some people say keep, change, flip. Keep the first fraction, change to multiplication, flip the second. Others say flip the second and multiply. Whichever mindset works for you, that's what you need to be saying in your head as you're working these. And then we multiply. So you do not need a common denominator, top times top, bottom times bottom, and then reduce. 
So let's work one of these. Let's do 6 and 2 thirds divided by 9. All right, if step, if needed, convert to a mixed numbers to an improper fraction. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Keep your denominator. Divided by, put all whole numbers over 1. Okay? Now, we flip the second and multiply, or keep the first. Change to multiplication. Flip the second. And now we're multiplying. We do not need a common denominator, so we do top times top over bottom times bottom and if we can we reduce if we can't we leave it just like that and 20 over 27 cannot reduce so that is it here is your first sheet for homework um, it's really hard for me to get fractions in that um, easy test maker that's where you can log in into your tests so I'm going to put them on here. You can screenshot these or pause the video and do these problems and then just turn in um, your handwritten worksheets uh, whenever you are at school and see me. Um, here's your first one. Let me give you a second to get that one ready. Now this one's numbered 1 to 15. Here's the next one that's not numbered. So just um, number them and make sure you write the original problem down so I'll know which is which. You can number them however you want. There's your multiplication practice. And then here are some division problems. So um, get all of those done on notebook paper. There's no um, online test for these. And that is your last video for the week.